Hello and welcome to episode 2 of the Twins franchise and today we are going to make some moves, we're going to go play some games, see how we do and get on with it. So first, let's look at the top 100 prospects, see where our system ranks. Royce Lewis is number 7, which is already great. And we are ranked the ninth best system with Bruzdar Gratterall, Gratterall at 71, which is wonderful. So let's let's make a move because I see some problems on this team. Of course, the bullpen, and I really just hate some of these players, like Michael Pineda. I just don't like it. It's just a personal thing. I don't like shopping guys around. I feel like you can do better if you don't do that. One thing I do don't, don't like about this game is when I change teams. Uh, Michael Plano will go away and I have to reselect him, which isn't that big of a deal, but I'm just not a big fan. Okay. Okay, so the first trade we're going to do is kind of a big one. It's going to be a nine player deal. We're going to trade Michael Pineda, Carlos Aguilar, Adrianza, and Will Holland for Carlos David Rodriguez, who is kind of the center of this trade. He's very, very good. Victor Maria, David Hamilton, who's also very good. Marcus Diplon, and Wade Beasley. We're clearing up $9.3 million, and we're getting a ton of prospects back. I'm very excited about this deal. And let's head over. I don't believe we're having waivers of DFA, but let's look at David Hamilton, one of our first guys. Three star, potentially. He's already 21. That's kind of the only problem with some of these guys, but I'm not that upset. We also got... What else did we get? So here's the trade. So we traded Michael Pineda, 30 years old, 2.5 star, 2.5 star potential. Really isn't going to do much for us. 17-year-old, uh, half star potential, could be really good defensively. I don't really want him too long to develop for me. Adrianza, who looks pretty okay, but uh, he just doesn't make sense in our system right now. And Will Holland, who's a pretty good second baseman who just had to be on this deal to get done. For Carlos David Rodriguez. 18 years old, already a 3 star potential, looks like a beast. Victor Maria is also okay, only 19, so we'll see how he develops. David Hamilton looks very good as well. Marcos Diplon is very good, already a star and a half, 2.5 star potential. And Wade Beasley, who's just, I just want to throw in and see if I can get another prospect out of it. So, that's the first deal we've done. And it might be the only deal. We do need to get rid of one more person off this active roster, so. That might come into play as well. So let's sort by age. Blake Parker. Blake Parker's gonna go. He's not good in real life. I think he was just DFA'd. And we'll see if we can get anything for him. Let's throw him on to the Red Sox. The Red Sox, you need a guy like Blake Parker. And maybe they'll give me Jaron Duran. Bobby Dalbeck or Tristan Cassius could be some interesting players. I'd love to have Jaron Duran on this team. I don't know where he would be. I feel like he should be in double A. Jaren? Jaren? Is he in low A? He could play second base or. Oh, for the last one. Here he is. Put Jaren Duran in there. They said my offer is an insult. You're an insult, honestly. So the next trade we're going to do, we're going to trade Blake Parker and Trevor Lar Larnack for Tyler Visa from the Philadelphia Phillies. Red Sox didn't have anything to offer. And our assistant GM says it's good. Phillies GM says it's good. I'm uh, pretty sure it's a good trade. Visa will probably start next year for us and he's a pitcher. And we get rid of Blake, Par Blake Parker's. Parker Blake? Blake Parker's contract. And let's review the trade again. Blake Parker, yeah, and Trevor Larnett, who looks to be okay, but we don't really need any more right field even prospects, and uh, Tyler Visa looks pretty, pretty solid. So, I'm not mad with the deals we've made so far. So let's look at the pitching. Of course, we have to have, we're going to pick one of these guys to start for us. We're going to move all these guys up, and I feel like right now, Lewis Thorpe makes the most sense, and we're going to put Martin Perez over Kyle Gibson. Just gives us another starting pitcher, another lefty, that rather, and Cole Stewart can get some long relief time, and we'll, we might swap him in and out. We actually might throw a six-man. No, let's throw five-man. 
strict rotation, strict on it's rested. Yeah, okay. And secondary roll. Emergency starting pitcher. Normal. Okay. Then the lineup shouldn't be that much different. The Bucks and Polanco, Rosario, Cruz, Chrome, Kepler, Sano, Scope, Ostadillo. With Mitch Garver and Jason Casho. So we do have three catchers. I do want to move Ostadillo to second base. I know that might make him worse, but I think he'll be better suited at second base for this team. Actually, let's move him to third base. And he goes up a little. Okay, so Ostadio will be a third baseman. So we're gonna throw a platoon at catcher. So who do we have? We have a lefty and a righty. Perfect. So against righties, of course, Jason Castro is gonna hit. Against lefties, Mitch Garver is going to hit for us. Uh, righties will be Jason Castro, and lefties will be Mitch Garver, which is great. Wonderful. It's already been 11 minutes. Wow. Well, I'm cutting all this out. Then we have Luis Arez, who looks pretty solid. Jake Cave and Marlon Gonzalez to back everybody up. And I'm um, pretty set right there. So we look at our lineups overdue, overview. I think that looks pretty, pretty solid. And I think we can get into the game. So let's sim a couple games. We're going to take day by day. So let's, let's go to team home screen. And let's... Let's see when we get a game. I believe we won't play a little bit because that's like the A's and the Mariners or whatever. And uh, here we go. Okay, so first game is against division rival Cleveland Indians, and we'll see how this team performs. We lose the first game of the year, seven to six. Uh, we had three guys hit home runs. Looks like Polanco, Rosario, and Sano. Let's see how we play now. We're zero and two. Okay. Oh and three. Okay, not the best start the, to the year. Oh and four. Why not make it oh and five? There it's oh and five. Okay, so maybe this team isn't good. Oh and six. This this is this is nuts. We finally win the game. Eddie Rosario's had to hit three home runs in his first game just for us to win one. We take two out of three from Philadelphia. Now we're at the Yankees, or actually the Mets rather. And we take two, one out of two. We're sitting at three and seven. Another loss. There's a finally a win. We're putting up a little bit of runs though. And we're just not playing well. We split that there. We're losing to Baltimore now. I don't really know what's happening with this team. Is it the pitching? It's the pitching. Lewis Starp's been really good. Martin Perez has not. So, and the bullpen's been bad too, except for Taylor Rogers. Who might be thrust? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna put Rogers as the closer because I've had enough. Um, Taylor Rogers will be the closer. So maybe a setup. Okay, and we'll we'll sim to sit here and see see how it goes. We won't take a game by game right now. It's still not going well, but better than it was, I guess. And Jonathan scopes out for two weeks. Wonderful. Already an injury. Place him on a 10 day, and we gotta bring up... Nick Gordon is all an interesting guy that we could bring up. But I do want to bring up a reliever, and that'll be Andrew Vasquez. Because I'm gonna throw Marwin Gonzalez in to play some second base while scope is out. This is kind of why we have Marwin to play second base. Okay, I think that'll be the last game of play in this episode. Cleveland's 20-7, we are 8-19. I don't know what's happening, let's look at some stats. Jorge Polanco's off to a torrid start. 840 OPS is ridiculous. Marwin, in only 11 games, is killing it. CJ Crone is doing well. Who's CJ Crone has two triples. I couldn't tell you how that happened. Sano has seven home runs. 
And Chrome leads our team in RBIs with 15. Marlins hitting 360, Austin Dio's hitting 333, only three games though. Three at bats, one for three, okay. And anyone with stolen bases, four for Jorge Polanco, three for Biden Buxton. Let's look at the pitching. War Jose Barrios is having a bad year so far. 4-1-5 year, right? But a 3-2-5 FIP, so better than it looks. Strikeouts, he's leading. Oda Rizzi's having a horrible year. Anyone having good? Lewis Thorpe is having a wonderful season. Not striking that many guys out, but still. FIP. Andrew Vasquez just came up, and we'll throw him in middle relief. See if he can add to this team in any way. Uh, Taylor Rogers is having a good year. Ryan Harper is not having a bad year. So that's going to be it for today. If you like the video, hit the like button, hit subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. We'll, we'll probably be simming all the way to the draft. So see ya.